everyone loves singing, dancing, and glam in some fashion. Maybe it's a musical, maybe it's a play, maybe it's a drama, or maybe it's your favorite singer or writer. And for some, they love the concept of an idol singer specifically. But an idol singer, like of every other trope, is not one note. Idol culture is pretty popular in Japan and South Korea, and that is not even discussing the huge and growing fan base in the West. Also, idols would include Disney Channel stars who had their own shows in the 2000s or well-known pop stars. So I think you have an idea from looking at the title of this video what we're going to be discussing today. How would you go about playing an idol in a TTRPG like D&D, or say Fate Core System? What about Call of Cthulhu or other horror RPGs? Well, today I'll be tackling that very question. From the suave bard who must face horrifying fans to a terrified idol singer running from Cthulian horrors, I'll tell you how to play an idol single such idol trope in your next TTRPG or D&D game. But let me slow down just a little bit. I need to explain for the obvious uncultured, I'm joking by the way, what is an idol? Well, an idol is an entertainer or group of entertainers trained in several performance skills with singing as their primary. Now, idols can range depending on the country. For instance, a Japanese and Korean idol will differ a bit from, say, an American idol. You get what I mean? No? Oh, okay, just stick with me. These entertainers range generally from their teens to mid-twenties, quote-unquote, whose image and attractiveness are marketed to maintain a close relationship and financial loyalty with fans. If you're a fan of Japanese, Korean, or any kind of entertainers who sing and dance in an audience, you will likely know what an idol is. In fact, if you consume K-pop, anime, pop music, or anything related to that, then you likely know what an idol is. Or, idols can be Western teen idols as well as I've mentioned before. Let's dive in on some specific examples in fiction. In the film, you have Pixel Perfect, which involved a hologram created by a band. This is a peak 2000s Disney Channel, for sure. Or, in general, Disney Channel has a lot of well-known idol singers and pop stars. Hilary Duff, Lindsay Lohan, Selena Gomez, Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana. Next is music. If we don't include the several idol groups and pop groups that exist in K-pop, J-pop, and even American music, then let's talk specifically about Vocaloid, which is an extremely familiar idol sensation. Next is Western animation. Danny Phantom's Ember, you know, that goth girl if you are old enough to remember that. And finally, anime. There are a lot of idols in anime. So I will do a fire rapid blast of all of the weeby nonsense you need to know. There's Misa Amine from Death Note, Naru Nasugawa from Love Hina, Zombieland Saga being a parody as well as deconstruction and reconstruction of the idol genre, Perfect Blue, directed by Satoshi Kon, has a character who's an idol singer, and Oshino Ko, which is literally about the idol industry and the darker side of the entertainment industry. So those are all really strong examples of idol in multiple forms of media. So as you can probably tell, the idol trope has a lot of diversity and is featured in a lot of different fiction with wildly different genre. So to answer the first question, what are you hoping to explore via this trope? Do you want to play a character driven to stardom? Do you want to explore the struggles of being a famous singer? Do you want to explore the pressure and weight that your player character might be dealing with as an idol singer? Or do you want to play an idol character in TTRPG simply because it's a cool concept? All of those options are fine, but you really should discuss the key details you want to explore via this trope. As we discuss, idols in fiction can range from issues on mental health and self-image to the covert and shady politics of the entertainment industry, your TTRPG can cover a lot of different kinds of topics and ground. So it is vital that both you as the player and the GM discuss what kind of themes you want covered. Here's a good example. You want to play a bard who seeks to bring joy to his audience using their singing and choreographed dance routines. For this bard, they want to create a group of like-minded singers and dancers who want to bring joy to the world. So, they become an adventurer to earn the fame and recognition across this fantasy land. As a player, you want epic heroism and lighthearted moments for your PC. This clearly tells your GM and the others around what you want from the table and subsequently from the game. So no one, especially during Session Zero, is caught off-handed or off-guarded when, well, this is a character different game. So once you've established a theme and hopes for your game, using that, 
we can then start to answer why your PC is an idol archetype. First, what pushed your character to become an idol? Is it wanting to be famous? Do they want to create an audience? Do they see being an idol slash pop sensation as a way to a greater goal? Do they know someone who is in a similar vein or in a similar industry and want to achieve something even greater. Establish that motivation within the context of the world. Fame and fortune for your PC doesn't matter as much in a combat central TTRPG or a dungeon delving TTRPG. So the motivation should really lie where the RPG lies. Alongside the reason for their push to fame is the conversation on their fan base. A idol's fan base is a key component to their trope. So the first question you really need to ask is, what does their fan base or potential fans mean to them? Are they trying to create a fan base? What challenges might come from creating adoring fans? What are the enemies and people they will have to meet or face? Do they currently have a loving and devoted fan base or are they developing one? And if so, who is that fan base and who might they have wronged in it? Maybe one of your players was a teen idol who was on TV and movies in this investigative mystery TTRPG. The team of investigators is asked to attend a fancy black tie party. Since this idol is and was extremely popular, blending amongst the civilian population is going to be difficult. So this presents a unique layer of challenge for the party due to the idol standing in society. Because with glamour comes a dark side. I've already mentioned before earlier in the video, but Japanese and Korean idol marketplaces have this idea of purity and innocence for their brand. The same logic can apply to Disney Channel stars as well, and most idol and teen pop sensations as well. This strain can and might even come into your game if that's something that is relevant to you. For instance, let's say you're playing a famous orc bard who's known for their pure and innocent brand. They do good and fight for justice. They have the hopes of loads of people riding on their shoulders. This means that a lot of people have a stake in the game and could blackmail this character with the right information. For instance, your pure and innocent quote unquote orc bard is caught drunk and being a disturbance. That can lead to an interesting number of social, combat, and even general puzzle encounters that you can present to the PC and to the players. So this drive to fame, glory, and appealing to an audience can truly have devastating consequences, especially if your player is famous or well known. So GMs, to keep track of this, maybe have a clock or something similar to Blades in the Dark or Forge in the Dark that their fame and scandalous actions increase or decrease depending on their decisions. And players, suggest this to your GM saying, hey, I want my fame and fortune to be a significant part to the plot if that's something your GM wants to listen to and something you want to see. So in conclusion, the idle trope is a balance of multiple worlds. Your character needs to create fame and glory while also creating possibly devastating enemies and horrors because of the industry and because of their personality. It's about being able to sing, dance, and be the face of the group while also creating difficult situations if spotted by their fans, by their enemies, or by their assailants. It's about balancing your glamorous persona with who that player character might really be and the aspects they're trying to hide from their fans and the world. It's about dangling between their fame and the relationships that they might need to cut off, and that includes the party. This balance is what allows for so much complexity within your tabletop role-playing game and could be a really awesome character trope to go with. However, to do this, you need to discuss this with your GM and players. And if you're not looking to play an idol, there is another trip that might fit. What if you want to play the egotistical character that keeps getting your party in trouble? Well. I have an amazing video on that that you need to go check out if you're interested in the egotistical character. And as always, I'm your average everyday queer host, Blurdy Disposition, and hope you all have an amazing day. Ciao!